Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How you doing? Fine. We're not open till 7. Ah, oh, well, see, actually, a gentleman just came in here and he uh, dropped this outside. Tough looking customer. Short, dark hair. That's the owner. I'm sure he'll be pleased to have it returned to uh, him. I wonder, would it be possible for me to uh, hand it over to him personally, do you think? Mr. Tillis is right in there. Thanks. Mm hmm. Tillis, oh no, why him of all people? Look, uh, I'm uh, having a little cocktail party at my place this evening. I uh, wonder, would you like to come? That'd be nice. May I use your phone? Sure. It's right behind you. Thanks. Mm hmm. Tommy Tillis. Crazy Tommy T. That's right. Crazy Tommy T. Guy like that has mob connections out the wazoo, you know what I mean? Yeah, but the question is, what's he got to do with denim? And why put the pressure on Mickey to keep from putting his high-rise up? Well, whatever the reason, Hannibal, I don't think we want to get in this guy's way. Crazy Tommy T hits a wall head on. There's nothing left but a pile of bricks. Well, as soon as B.A. finishes paying off the crew, I'll take him and Murdoch and I'll scout denim. Now, you stick with Tillis. See what else you can find out. You stick with Tillis, Hannibal. I didn't plan on making a career out of this. You know, I'm in my vet. Not exactly the most inconspicuous car to do a tail job in. Oh, that'll work for you. He'd never think that anybody'd be crazy enough to follow when a car as flashy as that. You don't believe that? No, but I thought you'd feel better. Bye. Why me? Stick with him. How am I going to do that? Mr. Tillis wants to talk to you. Uh, me? You. Right. <clears throat> Nice place you have here. Uh, I understand you have my wallet. Your wallet? Yeah. Isn't that what he said, Sugar? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. No, I made a little mistake. A big one. Why don't we check it out? Oh, no, listen. I... You're right, it's not my wallet. Hey, see? Sing me a song. Make it a top ten. Yeah, well, you see, the truth is, you see... Maury Birnbaum, talent agent? I don't know who's representing this girl, see, but she's gorgeous. She ought to be in pictures, you know? I mean, fantastic bone structure. Arturo Wainwright, tractor salesman. Herbert Digby, coffin salesman. You just asked it, we got the casket. <sighs> you got trouble holding down a job, or you're some kind of con artist. Which I hate con artists. I mean, they make me want to puke. You know what I mean? I mean, they're always trying to turn people off their life savings, you know? Understand me? Well, it's not really an honest crime like gambling or drugs. Talk to me. Or I'll have Jilly here use your head for an anvil. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, Mr. Dillis. On the left, J. Pierpont Finch, National Insider. You know how some people hate the press. Sometimes you have to come from the inside, you know, or sideways even to get them to uh, open up. Car keys. Oh, what? Car keys. Oh, yeah, 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 right. Sure, sure, car keys. We going for a ride? If these keys fit that white Corvette parked outside, we might just do that, because that'll mean you've been tailing me from that construction site over on 6th and Figaro, and then I won't believe you're a reporter. Mr. Tillis, Carl on the phone. Yeah, this is Tommy. Yeah, go ahead, Carl. What? When did this happen? Doesn't sound like good news. What's going on? What are we doing getting pushed around like that? No, you just stay right there in the office. I'll be right over there. 
Let's go. Yeah, we can finish this interview some other time. You know, perhaps I could speak with the girl. Julie, bring this brush all along, huh? I think he's got a couple of hundred grand of mine. And if that's true, you're going to see me get very angry. And you don't want to see me angry, do you? No, 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 I can't say that I do. Roxanne. 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 Roxan